Hey there, I'm going to tell you everything I know about Mega Man Zero. This game goes in four different parts, and all four parts you can play either in individual ways or you can play the collection, which contains all four and extra. Let's start at the beginning, shall we? It starts with our main character trapped in his cold grave, but then he is freed by a small. And thus the legend begins. And in order to save the person that revives you, you must face your first boss, the goal. And join a couple of counters against bosses such as this one. And this one you might cover to the ground itself. In the middle he needs a boss to just stage hard here, and you need to fill the booth in a hand phantom. After a couple more bosses you It's your old ally X from previous games. And after you have been fitting by the name of the enemy's game, you encounter a copy of your old friend which you will later have to engage about. But when you engage a battle with him, he turns into his ultimate form. In the battle, you'll have a hard time beating him, but want to be his origin. He turns into an even stronger form, but once you defeat it, that's the end of part 1. But after you defeat the copy, the real X tells you why he quit battling, why he left. And thus begins part 2. In part 2, it's 5 years later. You've been trapped in the desert. All your weapons and your armor have been critically damaged. And you're forced to fight for yourself from whatever is left from the Republic Army. And when you're in the desert, you must face this boss. You're introduced to a new character. And introduced to a new leader, El Pizzo. But after taking on a couple of bosses, such as this one, and this one, you have to face him in the ultimate battle. In part 3, it's an odd beginning. You find a weird radiator. You are introduced to a new weapon. And when you fo follow it, you, are in you meet the four stages, or what's left of them, and this guy. After the battle against Omega, you go, go against more bosses. And while you battle them, you find out weird clues and hints about what's going on. What's going on yet, you're not 100% sure. But you continue fine to try and find out. Some secrets being held and you don't know what it is yet. Between the Dark Elves and the Children Elves. And the enemies that you're facing, there's something weird going on. And there's only one way to find out what it is. And you are reintroduced to X in the meanwhile. In the final battle, you are battling against Omega, but he holds a dark secret. Once you be his origin form and his gold form, you will face him in this form. But after that, you find out his dark secret. You are not the real Zero, he is. And you have to fight him. Since you, he has the real body and you only have the mind, you, he has the advantage, but in the end, you win. This is the end of part 3 and the beginning of part 4. After an odd bout against a couple of replays in the train. And the testing of your new weapon, the Zero Knuckle. You are introduced to a new character, her name is Nietzsche. After encountering a couple of bosses, such as this one and more, you are introduced to somebody else. Nish has a father, her name is Kraft, and you have to fight her. The reason why he fights is to protect her from him. 
His name is Wow, and he somehow survived part 3 even though you thought that you got rid of him. In the final fight, you have to fight for the world and your own life. But in the end, you have to make the ultimate sacrifice to end it. And that's the end of part 4. And the end of how this one person took on an entire army by himself. Thank you for listening on to this. And goodbye.